Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dana Salamine. I'm going to represent the documentation of Amman Heritage Houses using Emina methodology. In this presentation, I will discuss Amman Heritage Houses, which is a project funded by the Global Heritage Fund and carried out by Jordanian experts during 2019. Amman Heritage Houses team consists of an architect, an archaeologist and a geomatics engineer as a heritage experts trained by the endangered archaeology in the Middle East and North Africa EMINA project. The primary aim of the EMINA project is to record and evaluate the status of the archaeological landscape of the EMINA region to create an accessible body of data that can be used by national and international heritage professionals to target those sites most in danger and better plan and implement the preservation and protection of this heritage. This is done mainly through remote sensing with an addition ground visits. Amman Heritage Houses project conducts a documentation process using the recording and condition assessment methodology of EMINA project to record and assess heritage houses in Jabal Amman and Jabal al the two oldest neighborhoods in Amman. Amman is the capital city of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. It currently has a population of over 4 million, but in 1924, the population was some 2,000 to 3,000 inhabitants. The growth of Amman in the second half of the 20th century through to the 21st century has been phenomenal in terms of its population, physical extent, and regional geopolitical importance. The city has not seen such a boom construction activity since Roman times two millennia ago. Here we can see a panoramic view of Amman city from the same location in two different times, pre-1920 and 2013. Such changes due to political, social, economic reasons allowed for a mixture of buildings ranging from small-scale houses and flats, typically up to four or five floors high, to other larger types of structures, and cause and plan growth of the city. In addition to, it's allowed for a huge changing in the used materials. So, growing in Amman, seeing all these valued houses, turning to cafes, restaurants, and galleries, Knowing that there is no comprehensive record of these houses, also legal framework to protect these houses is not activated. In addition to lack of drawings, maps, photos of these structures and the huge urban sprawl and development were the logic behind our project. The aim of this project is to conduct a documentation research using Emina recording and condition assessment methodology for the heritage houses in Old Amman. The study areas of the Amman Heritage Houses project are Jabal al Amman and Jabal al Wabda neighborhoods. These two neighborhoods, which are rich with vibrant heritage, being described as happening places, nonetheless, or maybe partly because of this, these areas are vulnerable to the destructive forces of urban development that have affected and still affecting these parts of the city. Jabal al the neighborhood is a good example of the fast urban growth. In 1953, the area had few houses. Later in the 70s, the density was getting higher until by 2000. Until by 2010, a few empty lands were left as we can see in the last picture. The duration of this project was six months, divided to three phases. The first phase was mainly about disk-based assessment to collect data and find resources of documented houses, identification of key partners and potential data owners, also design of logo that represent the project as point of identification. Box reports stories and photos were part of collected data. Actually, this stage was essential to know from where to start. 
one of the main data resources was our Facebook page that we have established and now we have more than 1k followers. We received many information stories and pictures from the owners of these houses. The second phase was about having interaction with groups in social media such as Friends of Al-Webdil, Ammaniyun, or Photos of Jordan. One of the examples is this picture of school students at Hilal bin Rabah School, 1960, and we were lucky to go and take a picture for the same place which became Khalid Shoman's face, as you can notice the well-preserved floor. Another example of getting data from social media platforms is this picture on the left, which is Nur Abdul Razak Lihmoud house built in 1950 and the picture taken in 1984, where the picture on the right taken in 2019 of the same house. Both pictures were sent by the grandchild of the house owner. Um, it's great, right, to see this interaction from the new generations. Also, field recording and interviews with NGOs in addition to site visits and participating in some walks with the Jordanian architect Bilal Hamad through Friends of Al-Webde Culture Association. All these data and information were recorded in Excel sheets represent the house location and when it was built, uh, the owner and the current use of the house. The third phase was about field recording and site visits to the houses for condition and threats assessments, also the data entry on EMINA database, in addition to participating in workshops. Also, we organized a workshop at the School of Architecture in Amman Arab University for math presentation and communication in addition to giving lectures in Jordan University about the project. One of our main project objectives was to identify how the heritage houses are currently used and how this affects the preservation or destruction of the original features and character of the house. So we documented in Jabal Amman 60 houses and we also documented the main disturbances and threats uh, that affecting these houses. An example we should talk about in Jabal Amman is Khirfan Street, where we can see Beit Shukair or Shukair House built in 1920 which was a house, later a school for girls, and now a place for culture and heritage. Also, we can see many examples for redesigned houses. The documented samples at this phase were original family houses, while the current use of these houses varies now from residential uses like Hijazi House built in 1940s to educational uses like the Santa College built in 1949. Another example for residential uses, a very important example, it's Luxus House 1940. To cultural uses like the Royal Film Commission, which was a Jaradani House built in 1930. Commercial uses like Al Qsus House, which is now Books Ab Cafe. As the original residents of those houses started to leave the area and move toward West Amman, only 31% of the documented houses were still used as residential units for original families or rented for foreigners and workers in the area while 14% were abandoned houses, like this one here. Another example for abandoned house. Let's move now to Jabal al Webde where we documented 48 houses and we recorded the main disturbances and threats that affecting 
these houses. One of the most important and very beautiful examples in Jabal Wildes is the Amari house, which is now adaptively used as an office building for the German Cooperation for International Cooperation Guides. The team visited this building with the granddaughter of the original house owner, and it was an emotional experience as she started to remember all her memories in the house. The balcony, the neighbors, and all the house toys. Several other houses are adaptively reused as art, cultural centers, schools, or cafes and restaurants, whereas the cultural values are preserved and presented to grasp the attention of the younger generation. Like this example for Saleh Ibseso House, built in 1927 which is now currently used as a school for children. But sadly, we recorded some destroyed houses like this one dated to 1920. Another example for a destroyed house also dates back to the same period. So, as a total, we documented 108 houses on Emina database. But the question now, what's next? The most difficult yet easy to handle challenges were mainly related to the data collection phase. Therefore, the proposal for Amman Heritage Houses too would cover those issues through proposing the following key outputs. An interactive online platform for local community to share stories, photos, videos about the old houses of Amman to be built on reference to the existing collecting data in phase one. Therefore, there must be a code of ethics and guidelines to control data sharing online. But what about Donna Village? Or Samad Village? Even Sala village, or even the house that my grandfather born in. Applying Amman Heritage Houses methodology on other Jordanian downtowns and city centers in order to record the modern era of Jordan history, also the creation of a prototype that adopts the Emina methodology and can be adopted to document and record other heritage structures in Jordan and increase the number of team members and experts who can be involved in this project is our goal and our next step. Thank you so much.